Hello! I am the amazing Zach, and you're watching my videos. So I don't know if you're watching this, it's probably because you want to learn to become famous on YouTube making videos sitting from your bedroom. Which would be pretty awesome. I mean, I'd, lo I'd, I'd love to do that myself. Alright, so first things first, you're probably going to want to buy yourself a camera. Personally, I like to use the Canon EOS T3i. Um, but you can actually use any kind of camera, as long as it's not a potato. A good camera to use for making a vlog uh, would probably be any kind of DSLR would probably be like, the best you could probably get. Those are the ones that like interchangeable lenses, Nikon, Canon, they sell pretty good ones. Get yourself like a handy cam or even like a webcam. Webcam, probably like the lowest because those are just not that great of quality and I mean you all know what it's like watching a video that looks like it's filmed on a potato. It's like 240p is the highest thing. Nowadays if you want to be successful making vlogs you want to at least be able to do the 720 HD, the lowest HD you can possibly do on YouTube. Try to be able to get that high quality in there. Alright, so after you've gotten yourself a camera, you're probably going to want to get yourself some lights. Because, you know, up lights are fine, but they they do a lot of top light and just everything looks kind of awkward. You usually get like a little lamp or something. It doesn't have to be super expensive like Hollywood stuff. But you want to get yourself like a lamp, like I have a lamp over there. <sighs> Why do I look at that? But also, what I did is I set up a blue background. I wanted a black one, but I don't have a black sheet, so blue is what we're going with. Makes me pop out a little more, I hope. Alright, so if you ever made a video before, vlogging is completely different than making a normal like, comedy sketch or a, a gaming video. But vlogging is really, personally, for me, it's kind of tough. Like, to you guys, it's like I'm talking to you, but in reality, I'm sitting in a room talking to a camera. And I don't know, for some people that's hard, for me it's a little bit hard, I'm getting, I'm getting slightly better at it. But one of the things you want to do when you're going to make some vlogs is you're going to want to get good at talking to yourself. <laughs> as weird as that sounds, you want to get good at talking to yourself because that is pretty much what you're doing. To you guys, I'm talking to you, but to me, I'm just talking to myself right now. Not only do you have to be good at talking to yourself, you also got to be kind of good at telling stories. You got to have some great story to tell. If you're going to talk to a camera, you're going to make those people sit there for like three to four minutes, however long you're going to be talking. Make it interesting. Maybe show in some pictures or effects. Also what might help, and uh, something that I should probably do a little better, uh, more at, something I should probably do a little more of, is have a plan of what you're going to say. Because if you just sit down and set the cam up, 90% of the time that's what I do, and go off of that, you're going to end up probably taking a longer time shooting the video than you would if you were to just plan it out beforehand and then say it. Kind of like a note card for a speech, you've all done that. If you watch people like Dan is on a fire or Amazing Phil, they pretty much have a good story to tell every time and if they, it's a boring story, they make it good and they make it interesting for them to watch. Not for them to watch. <laughs> they make it interesting for you guys to watch. It also helps that you know they're British and good looking. So after you've made the vlog and you sat down for 20 minutes or so, however long it takes to talk to the camera, it now comes time to edit the vlog. That can take up to uh, about an hour, maybe more, depending on how long your video is or how many cuts you want to make. When making a vlog, if you notice, on most people's videos, it's not just one gigantic cut. That is so boring to watch. Especially if there's a lot of stutters and all that stuff. So what I do when I edit my videos is I try to cut out as many stutters or as many pauses as I can to shorten up the video's length and also to just make it more smooth, I guess. You don't want some like minor experience with editing. Uh, it doesn't really matter what editing software you use for a vlog. It's not like you have to add. Or you don't really need like Adobe After Effects or Final Cut Pro or anything. You could pretty much just use iMovie or Movie Maker and still make a pretty good vlog. Alright, well that's everything I have for this video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video helped you out if you want to make some vlogs. Pretty much just watch other vloggers and you can get more of an idea for that. That's what I did. I just watched other people vlog and went out my own path. Make it yourself. I guess my last words of encouragement for making a vlog are just be yourself. Talk about things you like. Have fun with it. That's all YouTubers started out doing. They just set up a camera and had fun with it and went with it. That's why I started, just having fun. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you want some more videos of mine, hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much if you could do that. It's just so awesome if you guys hit subscribe. 
Okay, see you next week. Bye now.